Chemical reactions are very important to enable us to survive because it does、um, a lot of the processing of the things that we take in、uh, every day. So, for example,、uh, when we eat,、uh, we, for example, if you had some rice,、uh, we want to break down the starch within the rice into glucose molecules in order for us to、uh, absorb it efficiently. However, we can't just normally wait for them to be naturally broken down because. Uh, they have to overcome a very big activation energy in order to do that, so it's going to take forever. So if we have, if we say we have our substrate, which is、uh, the starch here, and we got our product, which is the glucose molecules here,、um, they have to overcome a very large amount of energy in order to be broken down. As you can see here, so we say that the amount of energy that they need to overcome at this part, that's what we call the activation energy. Because it's unrealistic to wait for starch to be just naturally broken down into、uh, glucose molecules,、uh, we have something called enzymes in our system to help speed things up. What they do is to lower the activation energy in order for the chemical reaction to occur. So the graph will look like this. So this particular bit here is the new activation energy、uh, after adding in the enzymes. What you can see, so the activation energy. Uh, before and after as massive、uh, is massively different, so we decrease that. So the whole reaction can happen a lot quicker, and that's what enzymes are. They are protein molecules, and we say that they are biological catalysts that speeds up chemical reactions by decreasing the activation energy. This is what we call the transition state model,、uh, where we say that specific、uh, chemicals have to be switched or changed to a certain shape. What we call a transition state structure. In order for the chemical reaction to actually occur, so that will be of particular interest for those of you who are doing chemistry. So, if we draw a very、uh, simplistic drawing of an enzyme that looks like this, we have it. As you can see, that it's of a very specific shape, and we say we call this particular part of the enzyme the active site. And the active site is the part of the protein or the enzyme that binds to the substrate, which is the chemical that it reacts with. So we say that the active site is complementary to the substrate shape, and that it's specific to a particular chemicals.、Uh, what we mean by that is this particular enzyme here can only fit a substrate that has that particular shape. So, for example, it will fit a substrate that looks like that because it has that particular. Uh, angle there. However, it will not fit into a substrate that looks like that because it doesn't have the same, quite the same shape. So it doesn't work. So it doesn't work with that. It doesn't work with that. It wouldn't work either. So it's very specific. It can only fit one thing.、Um, that is a very important、uh, trait、uh, for enzymes because we can't have one single enzyme breaking down absolutely everything. Uh, because that would just be uncontrollable, and we might, we might, there will be certain things that we don't want to be broken down or processed,、uh, which will then be processed if the enzyme is complementary to everything. In exams, it's really good to talk about a few things. Number one, they quite often ask about the definition, so just this particular bit will perhaps guarantee you two marks.、Um, when we talk about the active site, these are the keywords that you want to use. The fact that the active site shape is complementary. So the fact that they fit together like a jigsaw,、uh, it's complementary to substrate shape, and therefore that makes the enzyme specific to individual substrates.